Oh, you stupid thing. Why don't you just... Well, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Ow. Ooh. Right. That's it. Well, that enough. And I can't get it out. Stupid thing. Right. Well, I got other things to get on with. So, today, we have got to go and do some spraying for Patrick. I've left the old international round here filling up with uh, with all the the water with the fertilizer and everything and we're going to do some some weed killing so we've got our sprayer I've fixed her all up now she's got new nozzles pipes and everything and it's all hunky dory so we'll just turn this water off there we go we've got the old international she's had a good service she's happy as Larry now Listen to that. Lovely. So, I've already used a sprayer, so I know it works. I've done a load of stuff for David, a load of the fields for David already. And he's planted a load of stuff. I think he's got, uh, what's he got here? I'm not sure, actually. I think he's got the rape in. I think he might have the wheat in. Wait until spring for the barley to go in. Anyway, yeah, so we are going to go and do Patrick's two maize fields. Spray the weeds off. Get them all sorted. And uh, that'll be for his silage, for his cows. almost completely demolished the farm over there now. I think they've got one skeleton left. I think it was the, the big hay barn. The big barn. Got the skeleton left for that. So that's nearly all flattened. And then I suppose they're going to start building the houses. We did a, we did a little one first, this one. Open up the gate. Lovely. Got the loader off today. I never put it back on after the service in it, so I want to get that back on today at some point. And uh, I think we'll pop down to David this afternoon, see how he's getting on. You see, we've got a fair amount of weeds in here, so yeah, we've got to get rid of them. So we'll just pull forward. And then we'll get the booms out, get the arms out. There we go. Look at that. It's impressive for a find in the in the wood. That all works. So where we want to be a bit, a bit more, maybe? How's that? Yeah. Lovely. Right. So, we're all good over there, yep, off we go. So last time you guys were with me, I think you'll remember that we managed to get those tree stumps out. And I've got a guy coming next week to size it all up for a shed make do all the measurements for a shed to go in and they do greenhouses as well so we're going to have a chat about greenhouses see what sort of things that we could have so that'll be nice to get that sorted or at least in the pipeline to be done anyway and then I had a call the other day 
from the chat with that old Ford that we saw down at the dealership. He wanted me to go and do some some carting for some potatoes, but I didn't I didn't have time. I was doing all this doing all this spraying and getting all the machinery sorted, getting this serviced. I didn't have time to go and do it, so I had to I had to say no, I'm afraid. But maybe next time when he needs us we'll be able to go over there and have a day on some spuds or something which would be nice bit of a change I've never actually hauled spuds so yeah if that comes up then we'll go and do it this maze is looking good it's not too weedy actually, it's not it's not too bad. But they've got to go. The old sprayer, she's doing it. She's quality basically. I, I can't believe I found it in the wood. Can't believe it. So yeah, guy coming out for the bar, and then I suppose really it's uh, damage limitation for the winter. We've got autumns here. Everything's looking beautifully brown and golden. So it's not going to be long and then it's going to be cold and frozen. Here we go. What we got? That's it. Lovely job. So we'll just beat around the edge here. We could probably do with being, being mowed around here, to be honest. I might have a look at getting a flail mower, see how much I can get one for, and then we'll see if we can do a bit of, a bit of that. Get some money in the back pocket. So we'll just shut up that gate. up the road here and the gates on the left for this field here so the one that we've just sprayed is the one that I drilled and then we've got this one on the left this is the one that David drilled so let's see let's see if uh, let's do some comparison work shall we let's see if there's any good What's he missed that bit there for then? Close that so that we can get past it. Yeah. Right. So we'll go we'll start in that corner, I think. Yeah. That is that one done. Did you see all those bits that he missed? 
I am going to have to give him a right ribbon for that. Is that closed? Lovely job. So I head back to the yard. I'll drop this off. I'll get the loader on, have some lunch, and then um, and then we'll head down to see David and have a wind up about that field. They haven't started in there yet. Have you? Hold that down. So I think he's put a load of I think he's put rape in these ones, these bigger ones. And he's put put the cereals in the, in the smaller ones this time. I'm not, I'm not sure what his reason behind that is, but I know he's put a lot more crops in than what he did for this last harvest, so He's obviously thinking, thinking ahead. Yeah, we're gonna stick this just in here for now. We'll spin around. And we'll just back it up there. Almost where it come from. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe old Ted just left it there and then all the trees grow around it. We'll get that off. And I shall put the loader on and have me lunch. Right then, let's see what Mr. Ritchie has been up to. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. All right, John. How's it going? Not too bad. I've just been spraying Patrick's fields, and the one you did is a little bit wonky, me old buddy. What do you mean, it was a bit wonky? Well, missed a few bits there, buddy. No, I don't believe you. I didn't miss nothing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you did, buddy. No, that's a proper job, that is, John. Okay. Anyway... Can you do me a favour? I can do you a favour if you need a favour. Alright, can you take JD and drill Dye's field opposite yard just here? He's having wheat put in it. It would be my pleasure, David. I'll go and do it now, buddy. Ta very much. So, we get to use the mighty JD again. He's obviously very trusting of me. This is the second time he's let me use it. I must be his bestest friend. Right, well we'll, we'll get this gate, these gates open. And we shall drill some wheat. Close them up. Get her out of the way. Don't want to be missing any bits of field. Especially now we've just wound him up about it. Right. We'll start in the far corner. And we shall work our way down. Should do it. We all good? Jump that down. Jump that down. No. That's it. Turn her on. Three. Three. Commence drilling.
Yeah. Here we go then. Run down this edge. Still not sure whether I'm uh, entirely keen on these green things. It's very comfortable and it's very it's very cozy feeling. It's a it's a quite nice it's quite a nice place to be actually. But it's it's green. It's not red. I much prefer, prefer a red one. Well, we'll just go around and get all these little bits so that there's no ammunition against me. I'm going to have to watch my back now after I've said that, aren't I? I'll leave it open for him to wind me up. There's a little strip there. Take it back. All of what's that? Two hundred yards? Not even two hundred yards, is it? Hundred yards. Oh, good. Yeah, we shall stick it just here. that done. Lovely. All done mate. Lovely job John, thank you very much. She sounded like she was slipping a bit. Yeah, just a little bit, but nothing to worry about. Right, she does well though. Right, I'm off then. 
All right, John, see you later. Ta-da. Let's go home and continue working on that. What about those things, are like? There we go. And continue working on that little tractor. Hmm.